On today's episode of Watch Jericho, a weird guitar. No, that's not what this is at all. What is going on guys? I am Watch J Ergo and today we are here to answer the question, do you need to cut your oil filters open? So in the comments, there's always a trend when I'm working on something that's kind of crazy. Everybody wants to see inside the oil filters and I have never cut a single oil filter open in my entire life. And you know what? I don't think 99.8% of people have either because I don't think there is any reason to, but for some reason, the comments section always wants to see inside an oil filter. So today I bought an oil filter cutter. This was, I think it was like 20 bucks and it came from the big uh, online store. And uh, I, we're gonna try it out. So today we have the oil filters from the dart. There's three of them. And we're gonna cut each one of them open and uh, see what they look like and see if there was any reason to look inside them at all. I doubt there was, but I guess it'll be uh, worth a shot and it'll be cool to do for the first time in my life. Uh, I'm gonna have to go digging in the trash though to get those filters back. I threw them away a long time ago. So here's one of the filters from the old Dart. It's been sitting here draining down for a bit, so it looks brand new inside, honestly. I mean, the dynamic was probably gonna make the filter look new inside. So uh, I don't remember, this must have been the last one. This must have been filter three, rinse oil. So let's go uh, set up a workbench and start cutting these things open. Okay, so we're gonna label what our filters are here. Uh, and this is to the best of my memory. I don't know for sure, for sure, but I definitely think this is what they are. So this is the original, I know that. Uh, probably a 10,000 mile interval oil change. Uh, it's the one we took off the car, extended life filter. And maybe we can uh, prove some other things that were said in the comments here. People were saying extended life filters actually are worse filters. They have uh, higher micron tolerances to let you know junk through the filter so that they can run longer without clogging up. And uh, that's, that's an interesting idea and probably true. It obviously makes great sense. And then over here we have a uh, rinse oil. There's our filters all laid out. And we're gonna start, of course, with the first one that was on the dart. Let's open this thing up. There's, uh, no, this is how it comes too. It comes in a box wrapped in uh, bubble wrap or something. You don't get any instructions or how to. So I hope this thing works. Oh, I'm gonna go throw this box in the trash. Uh, this thing is completely full of oil still. Here goes our first filter. And I didn't realize this one went straight into the trash without being fully, fully drained. And it's already dumping oil everywhere. So let's just go ahead, put this thing down in here. And okay, there we go. So this is just like your can opener at home, except it doesn't work very well. This thing doesn't do the greatest job of holding the, can the uh, filter. But hopefully, <laughs> it's, just, it's just putting a mark on it. It doesn't work well at all. I thought I had enough pressure on it to puncture the thing. All right, apparently you need an extra foot of leverage in order to use this thing. Oh, oil everywhere. We're gonna build ourselves a dam. There we go. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Things I never need to do again in my life after just the first one. All right, here's our filter element. I mean, there's a little dirt right in there. Nothing crazy. There's a good amount of junk right there on the end of the filter. This has over 10,000 miles on it and it looks great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Well, there's one. We'll put that there on our 10,000 mile label. There's the inner seal for the thing. Kind of interesting. And there's the spring. There's just a little bit of grit in there. That's about it. Nothing crazy at all. Before we cut open any more oil filters, I need to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. And Keeps has you covered. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. Keeps offers clinically proven research-backed treatments 
to stop hair loss. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps has you covered. And in addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Keeps physicians will help you select the right products and treatments for your specific condition and hair goals. You can easily subscribe to Keeps and get refill reminders so you'll never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, head on over to keeps.com slash jrgo. Once again, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash J-R-G-O. Huge thank you to Keeps for sponsoring today's video and being a continued supporter of automotive creators like me. Now, let's cut open some more oil filters. Okay, this should be our dynamic one. And I guess now our oil filter cutter is well lubricated. You'll have to uh, put this back in your solvent tank or something after you're done with it because it'll need cleaned up every time you use it if there's any oil in the filters. Okay, let's see if we can push this through the filter. All right, here we go again. Oh. Can't tell if it's even punctured. Oh, it did. All right, let's tighten it down more. This oil just looked dirty. This oil looks a little shiny. I'm uh, kind of interested in the oil coming out of the thing there. You can see all the grit laying on this cardboard here. I mean, little drops of grit all over in this oil. But over here, there's like a little, just a tiny bit of shiny trail to it. Cutting open the dynamic filter is... <laughs> do people that do this have like a machine or something? Like some kind of robot that does it for them? Oh no, oil everywhere again. These were all drained down. That's what really kills me. Glad we laid out some cardboard. All right, back to it over here. Whoops. All right, inside our dynamic micro guard filter. It's the spring that holds the thing together to the seal, like so. Again, this filter looks great. I've seen people like pull these apart. This one looks honestly really good. And then stretch out the filter element, which is possible, I guess, if we wanted to keep cutting. But all this stuff is crumped together. Oh yeah, let's compare our STP to the MicroGuard. First, the MicroGuard has a way bigger filter. I think that's better just right out of the gate. And it also looks like it might have more pleats. And now for the last one that hopefully doesn't have any oil in it like these two did uh, because this is creating quite the mess. You'll need something to like, I guess if you put this in a vise it might work or you'll need something to back up the filter cutter if you're going to use this filter cutter, that's for sure. Here we go. I think we made it in. Tighten this down some more. So we've got it cinched down all the way into the filter. Here we go with our cutting. Almost there, and of course, we got another oil slick. Okay, she's out. Pull out our filter element. That's our rinse oil, and it looks like a brand new filter in reality. Brand new filter, brand new oil. It smells so good too. I love it. Well, there's filter number three. And let's go ahead and set this aside. So our goal here was to decide or maybe answer the question of, do you need to cut your oil filters open? And my answer is absolutely not. Why would you ever do this? First, this isn't great. And second, this is a 10,000 mile filter. I would, I mean, I didn't change the oil and I know that just in the rentals that I had the car, there was over 6,000, 7,000 miles put on it. So, so honestly, who knows when this was changed last? At least 10,000 miles, I would say. And then this is rinsing all the sludge out of the engine. And that's what was in the filter. I mean, feel free to look between the pleats. But you guys saw the dirt that came out of the other one and the dirt that came out of this one. Here's the, 10, the 10K again. Spread those out. And I mean, it looks great in the pleats. I'm not gonna try to cut those out and uh, 
show you much more than that. And this is our rinse oil from getting the sludge out of it. Just little tiny bits of dirt and that's it. Like that one's perfect. So there you go, that is cutting open oil filters. And as far as why, I mean, it's up to you. Maybe you just wanna see inside your oil filter. I get it, so uh, cut them open if you want. But I can tell you that first, this doesn't work very well. And second, it's gonna be a gigantic mess. And uh, I doubt you're gonna ever find a problem that you don't know about either by hearing or by the engine not having any oil pressure or something else. There you have it, three filters cut open and I'm gonna leave it to you guys to make your own decisions. Now, there are some use cases for this uh, where people cut filters open and there's a reason for it. I would say in your average daily driver, just change the oil. Even change the oil at the factory interval and you'll probably be fine. Uh, that dart probably went over the interval many, many times, but who knows, you never know. It could have just been changed and has sludge issues. But a lot of guys that do this are like big block uh, drag racers and stuff like that, crazy $25,000, $35,000 engines, and they're cutting open their filters after every pass, two passes, something like that, so they can see if there's damage to the bottom end. That makes sense. There's one other use case where this does kind of make sense. It's airplanes. Uh, a lot of times they cut those open, but at the same time, they're sending the oil off for analysis. Sending the oil off for analysis, that makes sense every time if you want to. Uh, you'll know a lot about the engine based on uh, the metal they find in the oil, what the metal is, it'll tell you if it's rod bearings or aluminum, you know, copper, aluminum content, all that good stuff. So oil analysis, you know, wholeheartedly agree with that. And airplanes cutting open the filters on those, it makes sense, you can't lose an engine on those. I mean, your life could depend on that. Your car, I doubt it depends on it. You can probably get off the road safely and it'll probably run long enough broken to get you home. So you're really not worried about that. I think we should check with somebody else and uh, see if he's ever cut open a filter. Let's check in with an expert. How you doing, Nick? Yo. What's up? Hey, how many oil filters have you cut open in your life to see uh, if the engine was damaged? None. Yeah, that's about what I expected too. I cut three of them open and I feel like uh, it was just a waste of my time. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, that stuff had to all move through the oil pump. Right, exactly. And, big, and big, it, big chunks go to the bottom of the pan and only, only five particulate go circulate. Yep, and what I found in the filters were just tiny little pieces of dirt, no metal. And I mean, if there's metal at that point, the engine's trash, that's my opinion. Well, you'll find that in the world, yeah. Yeah, you already know from hearing the engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, bye. Well, it's just my opinion, but this was a waste of money. Cutting open oil filters is a waste of your time. And uh, there's one more lifetime mechanic that agrees that it's not worth your time and it's not going to tell you much. But, you, you know, you learn a lot more from like reading a plug, I would guess, or from draining the oil and just looking through it than you would from your oil filter. Uh, from now on, I'm going to go right back to drain them in the trash they go. So there you have it. Make your own assessments. I'm sure there will be tons of people that disagree and, and want to uh, say that, you know, they work in an oil lab and they cut open filters for a living. But you know what? It's, if it's on a normal car, just change your oil. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjargo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. And as a bonus, if you don't cut open your oil filters, you won't have to clean the back of your truck with uh, brake clean, because that stuff went everywhere. The only way this kind of works is if you have one of those transmission teardown tables that like drains all the oil off in a slope. Uh, I guess you could do it in that and then just spray like the whole table down with brake clean to clean it all up. But we got it clean. That's probably the last oil filter I ever cut open for good reason.